just this last week, you know, uh, mom's going into long-term care. And, you know, they both have dementia. Kids admit it. And it's like, well, you know, we took care of mom. Okay, fine. What are we going to do about dad? And it's like, well, you know, <laughs> like, wait a second. He's still driving, ain't he? <laughs> it's like, yeah. yeah. Look, he's the guy's got Alzheimer's. And it, listen, just because you have Alzheimer's, just because you have a diagnosis, does not mean that you're incapacitated. It doesn't mean that. Okay. What it means is that you're you're developing some of the symptoms of of Alzheimer's, okay, of dementia, whatever. Okay. That doesn't mean you're incapacitated. The, the, the simple diagnosis doesn't mean that. What it means is that you're you're showing some of the symptoms. Okay, fine. Well, but when the symptoms develop to the point where your kids are doing an awful lot of the care, then you shouldn't be driving. Okay. It's like everybody knows he shouldn't be driving, but he's out there, he's out there driving. I say, you know, sometimes I, I'll say, um, in the workshops, we used to ask, what's the worst thing that'll ever happen to you? The worst thing that will ever happen to you. Think about it. And people say death of a child, death of my spouse, things like this. And the answer is no. That's not the worst thing, you know, even getting bad medical news. <laughs> I can testify, right? Getting bad medical news. I mean, that's not that's not the worst thing that'll happen, okay? For most folks, the worst thing that'll ever happen is that one of these old days, your kids are going to come for the car keys. And you say, no more driving, mom, no more driving, dad. That's the worst thing that'll happen, okay? And uh, and ask yourself if that isn't true. Right. I mean, how how would you feel? So, you know, taking the car keys away from mom or dad, that's a that's a very, very difficult thing to do. I acknowledge that at the same time, sometimes that's what you got to do. So, you know, it's difficult and there's no easy way to do it. I love reading these. Uh, I've, I've read some, you know, you read some of these things. and It's like, oh, if you tell them this or that, you know, like there's some way to soften the blow you know, that they wouldn't understand what's what's going on. Good luck for that. Um, anyway, that's the, that's the kind of thing we're dealing with. So if you are caring for a loved one, right, if you want us to take the car keys away, blame it on the lawyer. Why not? It won't make it any easier, but at least they won't point the finger at you. And we are happy. We are happy to help. 